Once again, we're staying in our modifyingobjects.dwg file. And we're still zoomed in to our little hot desking office space that we've been working on. So we've got our nice plant over here to give the office a bit of greenery. We've got our reception desk here and we've got our two hot desks here. What we're going to do now is work on that partition wall that we've created between the hot desks and the reception desk. First thing we're going to do is stretch that wall a little bit, but we're going to make it shorter using the stretch command. We're going to go to the home tab on the ribbon and to the utilities panel. And what we're going to click on here is measure and distance. And we're going to click here on the endpoint snap here and come down here to the endpoint snap here. And you can see that it's two and a half meters, 2,500 millimeters. So I'll click on exit there. We want that to be 2000 millimeters. We need it to be shorter. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the stretch command here on the modify panel on the home tab on the ribbon. So click on stretch and come into the drawing area. Now, in order to select the objects to stretch, you must use a crossing window or a crossing polygon. Do not select the objects individually. So I'm going to click up here, click there, drag the window from right to left across the top of the partition wall. You want to make sure that you're crossing the two vertical lines and you're including that little short line at the top of the partition wall. Left click to confirm and then enter to confirm your object selection. You're then prompted for a base point. Select the end point here. Either one will do at the top. Left click and drag vertically downwards, keeping your polar tracking kicking in. Can you see that? So your polar tracking, the green dash line is there. What you're going to do now is specify a distance of 500. So you just type 500 in, like so, and press enter. And you'll see that that wall becomes shorter. So what you've done is you've stretched 500 downwards, shortening the partition wall. Quick sanity check, we go back to measure and distance. We select an end point here, left click, and an end point here, left click. And you can see that that is now 2,000 millimetres or 2 metres long. Just click on exit there to obviously get out of the command. Now, we've used the stretch command. That's great. We're going to use the lengthen command now to lengthen this short little line here and extend it to the right. Now, you'll notice I can hover over a grip and lengthen that way. Now, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use the length and command on the ribbon. So just hit escape to deselect that short line. We're going to zoom in a little bit so that we've got a bit more detail on the screen. We're then going to go to the modify panel and click on the fly out and pin it open on the ribbon like that. And the length and command is just here. So click on the length and command and come into the drawing area and it prompts you to select an object to measure all. Now, you'll notice on the command line at the bottom of the screen, we've got delta, percent, total, dynamic. These are the four methods that you can use to lengthen objects, predominantly lines, in AutoCAD. We want to use dynamic. We just want to use it dynamically, quickly, and easily. We're not worried about whether it's a delta, percentage, or total distance. So we right-click and select dynamic. Now, this is where you need to be careful because you want to make sure that you select the right hand part of the little short horizontal line. So get your pick box here like that. Can you see on the right hand side? Click once and as you stretch to the right, you're now stretching that dynamically. And we want that to be stretched by 1500. So type in 1500 and press enter and you'll see your line appears like so. It's 1,500 long now in total, and we've stretched it from the right-hand end along. Press Enter to finish the lengthen command. You can now unpin the Modify panel as well. And last but not least, what we're going to do now is go back to the Offset command on the Modify panel, and you'll see there that it's remembered the 120 distance that we used earlier to create the vertical partition wall. Now, if it's not set to 120, just type it in and press enter. But if it is, just press enter to confirm. Select the newly dynamically lengthened line here. Click on it and move downwards and left click to confirm direction and press enter to finish. And you can see there now that we're now separating the reception desk from the hot desks, 
giving it its own little bit of cubicle space in the office area. What we'll do as we work through the next few videos is we'll start to refine these partition walls and make them look neat and tidy in our AutoCAD drawing.